Righty ho. Now, simplified. Olympus DM650. Tools of my trade, except my trade's finished. He says trade, I've never made a penny out of this. But you always have two. It's quite good sometimes. If you've got one turned off, and people won't think you might have another one recording in your pocket. I don't do clickbait. This is all I'm interested in. Now I've had about seven or eight of these over the years. They've all got a design fault whereby they crack and they are 120 quid when they first came out. So there is always a solution and I carry that with me. Very few things do I have in my bag but there is only one solution and don't use gang tape. What's it called? Gaffer tape? Gaffer tape slips. No, you actually have to use cellar tape. And if I'm feeling really diligent, I'll put two of them on. Oops. Yep. I have to do that two or three times a day. And it's a pain in the neck. These are only a year old. But they all, the clips go. I mean, it's just a joke. Why have I really turned the camera on? N I M H and do the time. I'm not interested in cheap clickbait gimmicks. Time is it? About there. That'll do. If I were, I have a recording of one of these from three years ago. From a many year uh, of a, an, uh, uh, somebody who lived in a hamlet I was based for eight years. Completely off the cuff about how the person in the music industry, with probably the cleanest reputation ever, and this came about because I do proper environmental monitoring in the area, or did, end of era, forget it, and a county, a town councillor in one of the three counties around me, town councillor, who was the county environmental spokesman, who I'd known for eight years. In fact, when I moved to that place ten years ago, his, with his wife, we, the, they had a barbecue in their garden. Kind of farmer's market types. They were the first ever house that we went to visit. We didn't visit many. I have a recording in one of these. Late 2020. I had been filming up in the hills, right up in the hills. A huge, great big badger set that I, basically I was about the only person that knew about. Most gorgeous, perfect setting on a very steep bank, very high up, wooded, where they were left alone. It was a sanctuary set. Fifteen massive diggings. Now, not only did this man, I couldn't believe it, I was filming it over a few weeks, allow when a 40 acres was harvested of trees, that set to be bulldozed with the cubs in. So a little later, I'm speaking with him. Oh, I'm somebody do I don't really want her. Oh, let's go around the back. I was so upset about this. And this person also is a <laughs> very avid member of Extinction Rebellion and his wife. So uh, three or four months later, I'm talking to him. I approached him very, very gently, just for a chat up on the hills. And I put the subject in, and he actually even admitted, he actually said that there will have been 
some live badgers. Now I have a recording of that. Um, I could use that as the most incredible clickbait going. A few minutes later, I'm talking to the many times sort of road manager of one of the most famous pop stars in the world, uh, Rock Pop, who's known as the most goody-goody person in the whole, the, the only truly good person in the music business. OK, he's getting on a bit now, but I see that he re-released a single uh, about a year ago. And his road manager is telling me how when that person moved to this region, as he did, OK, 30, 40 years ago, probably, this person, this man, went badger baiting regularly with the boys at the local pub. I'm never going to release that. Please note I haven't named him. I'm not into cheap gimmick clickbait drawing attention. All that matters, so over the years, shirts with pockets. So I have my little recorder there. Let's see what's the truth of this whole area. Oh yeah, it started mainly. What's the truth of the, the region people my side of the Brexit argument. Over the years I have the most incredible chronicle of how they did nothing, by the way. Um, actually, no, what am I talking about? It started a year or two earlier. The truth of the environmental movement. Now, can't vanity, ego, ego wars, nothing ever gets done. And then you have a whole cohort surrounding who are there to look for government grants and little initiatives and then they do nothing either. There's one who goes to the village hall up here. Farmer's market. Selling her bread at £4 a loaf. Artisan. Yeah, we saw her move in 17, 15 years ago. Actually, it's unfair to say her because she has two sisters who are pretty much the same. That family. The truth of environmentalism interested me but there's no point because if I were to compile years of recordings that unequivocally I mean you know we're not just talking one example I don't do one example of anything but when the county um, church church warden by the way ex-military eight years Military pastor taking money as the environmental spokesman for a county, a wealthy county, when he admits to you on your recording that he broke not only, I mean, it is against the law to even piss near a badger hole. You have to have a license to in any way disturb them. And this has nothing to do with the cull. When he admits that badgers would have been in the sets, I know they were all there, but when the sets were bulldozed, closed up, and I have many films and photographs how quite obviously staves of wood have been put over the top. Uh, we're talking right up at... About 1,500 feet, no, about 1,300 feet, maybe 11, 11, 1,200 feet. We're talking about somewhere that's like right up in the, where the fallow land is, the moorland at the top. A huge set, no farmland uh, around with cattle for um, a, a mile at least. When that person does that, I mean, he knew exactly what was going on. He probably didn't do it himself. He probably paid some contractors. Well, he did pay some contractors. But I can't. Or at the time, I thought, I can't even talk about this. I tried to recruit some people. But I spent a huge amount of time trying to recruit. Middle class, thoughtful, pro-environment. Mainly women in the area. Very dangerous talking with them. Um, you know, would you be careful? Please don't mention this. 
but I need one or two allies to decide if we're going to have this prosecuted because the contractor, <laughs> when they get their six months jail sentence, they will hurt you. Anyway, that aside, that's why you need allies. Um, but when that person preaches a lot, a lot, a lot, and himself taking money to protect the environment is so contemptuous of a many year cast iron law. Forget it. Forget it. Schism. Schism meaning there's no point caring anymore. Oh, for a long time I pondered, would it help having a prosecution on the front page of the Telegraph, which it would have got to, because they're a semi-aristocratic family. No, that doesn't help anybody. That doesn't even help the activist campaigners, because it's yet more bad, bad, painful news. I spent time then speaking with artists and even filmmakers. Can we try and make something truly evocative and thoughtful? Because it's a very beautiful spot. I have many photographs. I'm going to put some up later. The amount of artists, thoughtful people who I had conversations with, all of them. Oh yes, this is really important. And musicians could write some songs or something about it. Somehow get some kind of justice for these creatures. Not one ever followed through. There is no point. That's the real. That's the actual. And I have in my recorders, oh, 50 hours discussions with people. Oh, and all so nice people. Guardian reading kind of, oh, we care about the planet. We care about the this, that and the other, the immigrants, this, that and the other. Not one of them in the year 2020 and 2021, when they had all the time in the world, because all of these people have got money from off. They don't. None of them are under stress financially not one of them following through that's the real story that's the real story one day i will write that story but i do not use cheap clickbait i could put two tags on this video now that are true that i have unequivocal evidence i could not be arrested or or prosecuted for slander libel or anything else because they're true i don't cheat I need some authentic backing just to write. So I don't want to get myself to spend the rest of my life worrying about blowback. Just to write some of these truths, truths about our society and somehow, if possible, make it spirited. With, full of life force. That's, that's, that's all I want to do. Because, because I learnt years ago to stop. Oh, every time I encounter something like that, I cry inside. Of course I do. That's the point. But how do you carry on living despite encountering such things? And this, these aren't one-offs. These are just continual. Anyone who might want to uh, criticise me, and I don't really want to identify this location. I've got to leave soon. Half an hour ago I'm speaking with the vicar here, who I often speak to. Um, the, the vicar and uh, the man and wife. One of them's the vicar. We have great talks. They're completely honest with me. He was on the council and resigned because they're so so dodgy, so, so kind of totally callous. And even this area is just full of drugs and terrible behaviour. So, um, yeah, they speak to me openly. They speak to me about legal cases and things like that that they're involved in trying to help people with. But no, there's no point. There is no point in Britain anymore. That's the cruel, hard reality. And I'm not plodding on anymore. And I need somebody to know this. I've given up my causes. All of them. All of them, just writing about the past and turning some of it into poetry and somehow artistically interesting 
film material, perhaps. Or maybe I'll just drop dead now. And if I do, it doesn't matter. I've given it my best. And to the one person, only one person, who's used the perfect word with me, allies. She said, we need allies. I can't even get her as an ally. <laughs> Without allies, you can't do anything. I will put down here the full story at some point of what I call Brococide genocide. The setting afterwards, it was astonishing how quickly, six months, the grasses started to grow back and the wildflowers came. And just after, like, just after Auschwitz, quite quickly, the land where so much carnage, terror, evil had taken place, looked like a beautiful plain. Well, it wasn't a plain, it was a steep hillside, actually. Beautiful flower-filled alpine meadow, which it did. But that's the truth. Acedia, acedia, A-C-E-D-I-A. -E Not a big word, a beautiful word. Spiritual slope. It would be useful to bring that word back, actually. Right.